Hello, everybody, and welcome to this little guy. So, um, come off there. So today, I will be talking about this, and this is the Beast version 8.4D. So, I bought this off of banggood.com um, got it for uh, 50 60 dollars I, I don't remember but it did drop in price after I bought it which kind of was like well damn it but anyways so this little guy is quite interesting and in what it does hold on I'm not in focus. Ah, focus. There we go. Anyway, so this allows you to connect an external GPU like this, 960, into something like this through this cable. So we'll get to this in a minute, but first I want to show you this. So Really, the only thing that comes in the box is this, 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 and this wire. So, that's why I didn't show you the box. The instructions are sparse. Basically, it tells you, plug everything in, and it should work. And it should. But, if you don't have the option to turn the internal... IGPU off, then it makes it a little trickier. So basically, all I had to do is just restart, restart like 15 times, and eventually my computer was like, hey, there's something else here. And it worked, um, thankfully. Anyways, so inside this little guy, I do like the smoked uh, housing that it has. But basically inside this is a bunch of passives with a couple chips here and there. There's an 8-pin there. You got a dip switch there which says uh, slimline. Now let's just go ahead and open it up. So when I got mine, I actually had to open it up because... It wasn't set to run on uh, uh, bah, 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 uh, ATX power supply, which, for whatever reason, is what I bought, but it wasn't set up. So you have to open up the case, and then there's a little dip switch here that says ATX power off on, and I just flip mine to on. And here is a PTD. It has 15, 15 S7S 7S off. So I'm going to guess that is a delay. And then up here, where it says slimline, it has standard and ultra. Means nothing to me, and says nothing in the book. Book. Um... <laughs> There you can see the name. Whoop. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. There is the name. Pull you back out and focus again. Yeah. Okay. So, as I said, there is one. Two, three, four, five, six, no, no, five. Five packages, one re resistor or cap. I mean, there's a bunch of passives, basically. The bottom of the board, absolutely nothing. Just a bunch of thickened traces there. And, yeah, that's really about it. So... What this offers is any computer 
that has a mini PCI Express one slot inside, uh, like my Nook has a uh, Wi-Fi card slot. It's half height, and that's normally what comes in your computer in that slot. So, what this does is allows it adapts 1x to a 16x slot, and it's time to take it out of this. Uh, actually, it's not taking it out. I'm just going to disassemble it to show you. It's the best way I can put it. So, Okay, now I gotta take off the board, which is fine because I need to remove the SSD from this, anyways. Alright, so there you go. That right there is the Beast card. Beast Pro. Had a screw stuck to it. And this is all you need to use to be able to add external graphics to practically anything. So got a laptop that still has a good CPU, but can't game? Plug this in. You're done. Um, unfortunately, most laptops, you'll have to either cut some plastic to route the wire out the side, or something, or do what most people do and just leave their laptop permanently set up with this. That's why decided to test it on a Nook because these are really nice little computers and the it's just the graphics card kind of sucks in them. And this is a really good use. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, so this transfers all your PCI Express information to an HDMI connector, but it goes into here, and then that'll give you an extra USB port and your your power cable from your ATX power goes into this slot, and that's it. You run your PCI Express power to the video card from the power supply. The only time you use this port is if you have the special 220 watt Dell power supply, which I plan on ordering to make this a permanent setup. But as of right now, this is all coming out. So continue watching for uh, the gameplay and stuff where I compare the integrated graphics to a 960 running off of the single X PCI slot. So, ah, no, hi, ah, Oop. hmm, am I focused? Focus. Okay, I think I'm in focus. Sorry, I've been 
playing with the manual focus because the autofocus isn't the greatest, but for some things it does work fairly well. Anyways, I'm rambling. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you really like the video, subscribe right here and check out these two videos. Um, this one will be the uh, gameplay stuff. So check it out. This one's something else. Bye-bye!